Okay, hello and assalamualaikum. Okay, today I'm gonna show you guys how to answer first year chemistry topic for question 11. So, as you can see, I already labeled the keywords that need to be focused on for answering this question. So, I uh, I also made some observation for the question 11a. So, the question was asked to draw the Dulwey structure for the given molecules and label the length of the two carbon oxygen bond per each either 1.26 or 1.23 ok for the answer 11a first of all I calculate the valence electron of atoms that exist in the molecules after that I draw the Dulwey structure and then I calculate the balance electron. In this case, it is zero, so no balance, no electron to put on the central atom. As the formal charge, I also calculate. Okay, all formal charge equals to zero means that this leaf structure is the most stable. Okay, as for the labeling, I put 1.23 on the double bond and 1.36 on the second bond okay because it is because length of double bond is less than single bond one marks given for the first step one marks for the balance electron calculation one marks for the Lewis structure and one marks each for the labeling okay for question 11b I also made some observations so the question wants us to draw the delivery structure of HCO2, F2 and HCL4 and determine the bonding electron pair and non-electron pair for question 1 ok, number 2 state the molecular geometry of each molecule based on numbers of electron pair for question 2 and number 3 state the hybridization of xenon atom from each molecule for question 3 and let's predict the polarity for each molecule for question 4 ok for the answer question 11 B1 first of all I calculate the valence electron of atoms in the molecules after that I draw the Lewis structure and then I also calculate the valence electron to put on the central atom in this case it is 2 so as you can see from the Lewis structure, I can determine the lone electron pair which is 1 and the bond electron pair which is 4. Okay, same goes to SCO4, I also calculate the valence electron atoms in the molecules. I draw the Lewis structure and calculate the valence electron that left. In this case, it is 4. So after that, I can determine the uh, lone electron pair and bond electron pair which is 2 for lone electron pair and 4 for, and 4 for bond electron pair ok, 1 marks given for the Lewis structure and 1 marks for the lone electron pair and bond electron pair 1 marks given also for the SC of 1 electron pair and for the lone electron pair 2 and bond electron pair 4 and for the Lewis structure for answer 11b2 to know what type of clay is it, it is, so I list down the lone pair, bond pair. So from that, I know that it is a AB4E, trigonal bipyramidal. And then I draw the molecular geometry of it, list down the degree of it, and then I name it as, as if a seesaw. So same goes to SF4, I list down the lone pair, bond pair. And I know the type of class of this. Uh, it, uh, it is uh, AB4E2 and it is ultrahedral. I draw the molecular geometry of it and list down degree of it. And then I name it as if square plana. So, marks given for the molecular geometry and the name of it. Same goes to SCF4. Okay, for question 11B3. Uh, for the SCO2 F2, the number of electron pair is 5, so I know the type of hybridization of it, which is SP3D2. Okay, for SCF4, the number of electron pair is 6, so the type of hybridization of it is SP3D2. 
Okay, note if the question asks to state the hybridization, you need to draw orbital diagram and orbital overlap. So, what must given for the hybridization of SCF2F2? And same goes to SCF4. Okay, last question. Before we answer this question, we must know the two conditions that we must uh, we must uh, apply to answer this question. Okay. Okay, the first condition, uh, there are six types of geometry shapes, which is linear, trigonal planar, tetrahedral, trigonal bipyramidal, octahedral, and square planar. Okay, the second condition, the second condition, all terminal atoms must be same. Okay, for SCO two F two, we first look we uh, we can. Uh, first look we can determine which is, is not a, a, pol uh, is a polar molecule because the molecular geometry is a seesaw which is not obvious the six type of geometry shapes uh, and also there are two types of terminator which is oxygen and fluorine which makes it mu equals mu equals not to zero and is a polar molecule as for SCF4 uh, first, uh, first, uh, first look we it can determine is a polar non-polar molecule because it obeys the six type of geometry shapes, and the terminal atom also one types which is fluorine, so thus it makes mu equal to zero. Thus it is a non-polar molecule. One must given for the polar molecule for SO two F two. One must for non-polar SCF four. So that's all. Thank you. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, like,